Hi everyone, this is Diane. I'm feeling a bit restless tonight and I decided I would just turn off my computer and do some of this work, this homework that Gina gave me, gave us who are watching her series on Finding Your Style. So without really knowing what I'm supposed to do with the pages, I brought my pile of collected pages over to my uh, art table and I'm just going to add things to them. I can do collage, I can stencil, I can spray, I can paint, <clears throat> I can stamp. So I have a whole bunch of stuff available to me right now. And like I said, I don't know what we're supposed to do with these pages when they're done. So I'm, you know, I don't really know <laughs> what I want to do on them. So I'm just going to play, which is what we're supposed to do. So I'll set these aside and I'm going to start with this page right here. So this is a uh, fly, fly leaf from book. It's quite large. So I don't know if I'm going to have to cut some of these pages down or what. So I'm just going to start. Uh, one thing I brought over with me was this piece of fabric. I had just gotten this at the flea market on Monday. And when I was gathering things to bring over, I hadn't put this fabric away yet. And my eye fell on this and I thought, I really need that. I've been feeling pretty blue lately. And I think I just, this just spoke to me and made me feel happy. So I'm going to put a piece of this on my paper somehow. Maybe a couple of them. Let's do three. We like to do things in three. So I'm going to choose three colors of these bright daisies. And put them on my paper. You might think this is a little unusual for my style. But I do like colors. I do like bright colors. I usually go for more muted colors. I like rich regal tones and I like um, pastels and vintage looking but there is a place for brights well I'll just get a bunch of them ready and then I can decide which ones I like and sometimes you just need to use brights when your mood says you need brights Okay, so what do I do in the background before I glue the fabric down? Let's just do some stenciling. I brought these doilies over. I have quite a variety of doilies that I can stencil with. I, I like this one. It has a lot of laciness to it, so it should make a good stencil. I'm not sure about rubbing ink through that so and I'm not sure about the color of the paper either what kind of ink would show up on it so I think I'm gonna spray let's look for something that will show up on this paper if I spray I have this mint green I don't want it to look too Christmassy though I wonder if this mustard sprays. Mm, nope, that one doesn't work. I have lemon zest by Illusions. That one sprays. Might as well try it, right? doesn't show up much but it might give a subtle pattern can you see it that shows up much better should have gone with the green to begin with I guess 
I can let this dry and use portions of that on here too. I know that was a loud car going by, but my windows are closed. My air conditioner is in the window. So sound comes in through that too. Look at the colors on that doily. For a journal that's uh, about finding your style, this doesn't seem like my style, but it is one of my styles. It's just not just not seen very often. And whatever kind of journal it is I'm going to be making with these papers, it will be my journal since this is my process of learning about myself. So this journal I'll be keeping. I think that's good enough. I'm a little worried about um, like rubbing, um, what you call it, glue stick on those because they're wet and fragile. So I am going to set this paper aside and I will finish that when the doilies are dry. Let's move on to the next piece. Next I have some graph paper. Oh, it's like that. I brought some stencils over with me. And I'm going to just do some stenciling with ink this time. It is 8.58 p.m. I don't usually do videos at this hour, but like I said, I was just kind of feeling restless. I uh, Have you ever watched Call the Midwife? It's a PBS show. It comes from England. In the UK. I love the UK shows. And I never watched it when I would see it on actually on my PBS station because I don't know just the name of it didn't appeal to me. I didn't want to watch women having babies. But I started watching it on Netflix. I'll turn this upside down so it's all the same. And I love it because the characters are so unique and I just love it. And yes, I do watch women having babies on it, but I love the characters. 
and so I'm enjoying that. So I, I watched an episode of a, and a half of that, but I just shut it off so I could come up here and do something. So I just did that whole thing without really thinking because I was busy talking. So now what do I want to do to it? Maybe that's enough. Yeah, I'm going to call that enough because it's just a background for whatever this journal is going to be. Somebody gave me in a happy mail I think this is um, the tea bag paper, and there's some light stamping on it. I'm just going to glue some of that on here. I brought a basket over here of, um, I had this basket on the floor in my craft room, and when I was, you know, try to clear space, and I have all these things that need to be put away, but I didn't want to put them away yet because I was busy, I just started throwing them in this basket. So I brought that basket over with me. And if I use some of it, then I won't have to put it all away, right? Whatever I'm doing today, I don't want to take a lot of time with. This is an old um, receipt from 1971. Whoops. Somebody, that must have come in that happy mail too. Here's a cigarette card of a freshwater fish, bullhead. My brothers used to go fishing for bullhead in our pond. Could never understand why they would want to. We had a pond when I was growing up. I grew up in the country and my grandfather lived right down the road from us. He had a round barn, which was kind of famous in our area. It burned down years ago. But, um, so he had a pond and we had a pond. His pond was bigger and easier to um, clean off for some reason when it was icy. I'm gonna get my glue stick. when we had ice, when the, when the pond froze over, um, his pond, we, we cleaned that off more often than ours, you know, like scrape the snow off it and stuff. And when I say we, I mean my brothers. <laughs> but we would go skating. I never became an accomplished skater, but it was fun. We all had our own ice skates. We would skate on the pond, and sometimes we had youth group activities at our house, so they could... We lived on a steep hill in East Smithfield. We lived about halfway up the hill, and our field, our side field, was on the hill. So you could tramp up to the top of that, to our property line, and sled down to our house. So that was cool. So we would have youth group activities where we would uh, sled, toboggan, uh, make homemade ice cream, and go skating on our pond, or my grandpa's pond. And we would have a bonfire or some sort of a fire at the camp, at the camp, at the pond when it got later in the day. It was just fun. Fun times. Put some glue on this. So I'm creating without really thinking. I brought a bunch of stuff over that I like to use, and I am just creating while I talk to you. And it's kind of odd to do this because, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with these pages. I know we're going to create a journal, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm 
I don't have a game plan here. And you know, just occurred to me, I'm kind of feeling like that in my life. I don't have a game, I don't know what the game plan is. Gina has a game plan for this. I don't know what it is. And in my life, I, I am just, I don't know, I'm at a crossroads and I want to move and I don't know where I'm going to move and I, you know, I haven't listed my house yet and I just feel up in the air about stuff. And the, the place I wanted to move to, the place that still speaks to me, is a little bit out of town and I was afraid that I would feel isolated. I think it's going to be hard enough to move to a place by myself that my husband has never lived in. I think that's going to be really hard. And if I feel isolated because I'm further away from my kids, and it's not far away, but it's out of town and my kids, you know, live. We, we live in three different towns, but they're very close together, like minutes apart. And this place that I would move to, if I get this place, is still minutes away. But it's different, I guess, is the thing. And I'm just thinking that I might feel more um, isolated there. And it bothers me. In the evenings, ugh, I'm probably sharing too much here, but I... I've been having trouble in the evenings. I just feel so sad and lonely in the evening when I'm here by myself. And when I'm in a new place, surrounded by people I don't know, it's, I think it'll be just that much harder until I get used to it. So anyway, I'm just all, all a tither trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So just talking about this, like I don't have a game plan, but Gina does, so I'm just following the steps and trusting that it's all gonna be cool at the end. And in the same way, God has a game plan for me and I don't know what it is and I'm just following the steps. I pray every day for him to guide me and I'm just kind of waiting for him to show me what I'm supposed to do and, and where I'm supposed to go. And he has a game plan. Well, that's a pretty cool page. This is more my style, right? So I hope that that wasn't sharing too much after I just did a video talking about people that share their personal stories. <laughs> but I appreciate all of your responses to that. Um, you answered my question beautifully. You all like to hear people's, not just my stories, but the others, the other crafters who do videos and talk about their daily lives while they're crafting. You all like that. And if somebody doesn't like it, they don't have to listen. They can watch without the sound on. So overwhelmingly, your responses have been to keep on Keep on talking, <laughs> and I appreciate that. I really like this page, actually. These are not my kind of colors, really, but I like this page. It's kind of hard to glue doily down, especially after it's been wet. It's dry now, but I think it made it more fragile. And if it tears, it's fine. It's a junk journal. Okay, I got doily stuck to my fingers, but it goes with the paint that's on my fingers. So I'm creating um, art journaling on my fingers. Now I had this up here, this down here, I had this somewhere, this was down here, I had 
that there. Something like that is what I had. I told you this portion of the process was going to take longer because I have to do something to my pages. So it's just going to take me a while. I want to move on to the next stage, but I have to have these pages ready for the next stage. So I just have to make myself take the time to, to play. Even though I feel like I have so much stuff to do. going to have my one of my grandsons with me for a good part of the day tomorrow but he's 13 he will let me do some crafting if I want to and I can put him to work give him some chores to do and then the next day I'm going to have both of the boys Teddy doesn't have school on Friday for some reason. And Adam isn't starting school until after Labor Day. So, well, for goodness sakes. I'm just going to put some glue on here. This isn't any fun. This doily just doesn't want to stick. Except for to my fingers. trying to lift my finger up without bringing the doily with me. Oh my goodness. Now, maybe spraying it makes it so that uh, the glue doesn't want to adhere to it. I think that the glue stick just doesn't work, isn't working on it. So, what am I going to do to get that to adhere? This would work. I know it's wet and it'll probably smear the ink that I sprayed, which is why I didn't do Mod Podge to begin with. It's not too bad. I think it's smearing a little bit, but it's not too bad. Even now, that doily does not want to stick to it. Isn't that weird?
won't be this involved with all my pages or I'll never get done. Can't get the doily to stick to paper and I can't get it off my fingers. Do I want to bother with this one? Yes, I do. It's all play and experimentation. I'm putting Mod Podge on the fabric now too. That Mod Podge is going to make the fabric stiff where it's where it is, but that's cool. It's perfectly fine. I think I need a little bit of this doily down in this corner too. Don't want to leave this corner out. And then we'll move on to another page. I have a video already scheduled for tomorrow, which is Thursday, so this video will play on Friday. Page dry. Let's move on to something else. Well, I have a piece of wallpaper here. probably do some sewing on some of these pages when I'm not on camera. Be a little bit, like I don't know how how wide this journal is going to end up being. I suppose it's up to me. But I have to wait and see what, what Gina says in the next stage. Um, so I don't think I'm going to decorate this at all. I think I will sew a pocket on one side and leave one side for a flap, but maybe sew something on it. So I am not going to do anything with it tonight. Computer paper. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see this part. I 
again, I don't think I want to do too much to this because I can use this for writing, but I will decorate it some. We have some things here I can use. Oh, I have my Italian paper that I got from uh, Rachel. I just set my pile over here. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't put it away. This is not it. That's just copy paper, but this is my Italian paper. I'll take a piece of this straw paper. But I have these bits over here that have been sitting here for a while too. And these are from a lap from the Netherlands. And she actually brought them to me personally. And I was using them in a journal just to, for collaging, so I think I'll do a little bit of that on this page. Love that giraffe. good enough. Okay, so that page is ready to go in my in my book. I'm going to have to make a large book. And then I can write, decorate, however I want to. I like that page. All right. I have stamps that I don't play with very often, and I really, really need to. Maybe these aren't the ones I want. What stamps do I want? I like that flower. Ooh. 
I haven't used those yet. Something fun. I love my house stamps. Okay, I got a few stamps out that I can play with. Let's do this one here. So I had a, a Stampin' Up! workshop on Saturday, and I had committed to it, or I know I wouldn't have done it. I really, really did not feel like doing it. And the demonstrator is a friend of mine. I've known her my whole life, or her whole life. She's younger than me, but I've been friends with her whole family for as long as I can remember. She has a big family, I have a big family, and we used to spend a lot of time together when I was a kid. Anyway, I did not want to let her down, so I did the workshop, and I ended up, oh, I just knocked a couple stamps on the floor. Um, I ended up signing up, but I'm not going to be I like doing parties or anything, but I could, I could um, get, could spend the same amount of money as I was going to, and get fifty dollars more stuff. So I did that, and really, I just I got paper. They had some really gorgeous designer series paper in their catalog this time. Last time I didn't like any of it. This time I liked a lot of it. And oh I did get one stamp set because it has their um, uh, angel policy stamp in it. So it says if, if I use uh, Stampin' Up! stamp in a journal that I'm going to sell I have to stamp it with their Angel, angel policy stamp. So I had to buy this whole set of stamps. I didn't realize that there's a little there's fairies in this. There's a little fairy for the body and right there and right there. I did not even know that. Um, anyway, so I got that stamp set. But I like the rest of the stamps too. It has paint brushes and pencils and all kinds of artsy stuff. So I bet these have fairies too. Look at the hummingbird. Let's see what the hummingbird has. I think it's just a hummingbird, but I think the dragonfly might have a fairy in the body, I'm not sure. Let's do a hummingbird. And this is a Stampin' Up! ink, one of their newer inks. It's called Fresh Fig. I love it. space on my work tables. Um, I'm just going to put some dots. I wonder if this would be too dark though. Probably. Excuse my reach. Let's do some crushed curry dots. This is the handle that Clint Ratcliffe makes. Um, that's Shell Ratcliffe's husband, and she's Shell Ratcliffe, the Ramblin' Crafter on YouTube. But he makes these handles and sells them, and they sent me one in a Happy Mail. So 
So thank you, Clint. I'm using your handle today. Okay, I think that page is done. Might as well do some dots on the back of it too, right? You can see the stamping through the page. I'll probably have to call it quits pretty soon. Get myself ready for bed. Hopefully I can sleep. I have to get up early to get up at like quarter after five tomorrow to go to my daughter's house. So She'll already be at work by the time I get there, but I, when I get there, her husband can go to work. Okay, there's that page. So I have a few done. Let's see if we can do one more that won't take too long. This is from a book. It's called A Child's Garden, and it has just some information on the front and an index. My handle rolled off the table. So what should I do to this page? Maybe I'll just stamp some bright flowers all over it. That'll be quick. My friend that does the Stampin' Up stuff, she had a yard sale getting rid of some of her, a garage sale this past summer, or I don't know when it was, I don't remember, but anyway, I went to see what she had and I bought this set of stamps from her, it was a while ago, maybe it was in the spring, it was probably in the spring, the trouble with the older Stampin' Up stamps that are on the that are supposed to be the cling. They don't stick to the blocks very well. They said that they have redesigned them so that the newer ones do. But sometimes I use um, like a tacky removable glue and stick it on there and then they stick with no problem. But then they stick to everything else too. Primrose petals. labels on them. So I don't think, I think that one, the one that I just used, I think she used it. This is the wrong one. This one goes here. I think she used it but just didn't use the labels, but I don't think these were used, the rest of them. This one with what color? Bermuda Bay. That's one of the old ones. One of the old ink pads. I hope it still works. Still works. Yeah, 
yellow. Do I have a bright yellow that would show up on this? I have yo-yo yellow and daffodil delight. Pineapple punch. I think that one might work the best. See? Ooh, that does show up. Gorgeous. I'm going to have to put sticky stuff on this one for sure. Well, this page looks fun, doesn't it? It's fun to just play around when you don't really have a plan. And this is a fun way to try out a stamp set you haven't used yet. Okay, look at how pretty that is. I love that. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I played and crafted. Now I have a mess to clean up. Or maybe I'll just leave it out so I can play with it tomorrow while my grandson's here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.